And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Hello and happy Friday, everyone. I am meteorologist Sheldon Brashears checking with a quick look at your forecast. It's been a hot day so far today. 103 has been our high so far here in Amarillo, tying a record set back on this day back in 2012. Very, very hot conditions out there, but here at the time of recording, already starting to see some small little showers and storms pop up around parts of the region. Check your latest radar for the latest on that. But that's our next weather maker is a hopefully rainy weekend that lies ahead of us. So we're going to get things going for your Friday, Saturday and Sunday, hopefully looking even better. So let's just jump right in and take a look at our upper level setup as of right now. As you can see, there's our big high pressure system. There's our low pressure. There's those monsoon rains there in Arizona and New Mexico. Obviously, the bulk of that rain not coming towards us as of right now. But here's the thing it could. That's the good news. So let's take a look at what's setting it up and where the possibilities are really coming from because with the high pressure and the low pressure system, it's all in the rotation of them. So let's take a look at what's setting it up because essentially what we're trying to do here is essentially steal some monsoon rains, believe it or not. So you have the big anti-cyclonic flow of a high pressure system. You have the cyclonic flow of a low pressure. What we're going to be trying to track is that low pressure system firing up those monsoon rains. As you can see, it fires it up out of the southwest. Then what we hope is that this pressure, high pressure flow right here kind of swipes some of those storms and then carries it off across our area. Like I said, kind of swiping it and pulling it our direction. That's our best chance for some rain showers in our area. Probably going to be more spotty. You're going to see that more widespread, just heavy soaking typical monsoon rains, of course, in western New Mexico and Arizona. But for us, like I said, maybe we'll catch a piece or two of it. That's the good news. So let's look at your SPC risk for the next three days. We're going to start with today, your Friday. What you see right here, there's a marginal risk down in the southeast corner. Rest of the area, thunderstorm risk, pretty minimal. Tomorrow, a little bit more so. As you can see, a marginal risk over Amarillo. Slight risk, talking hail and wind threats with a lot of these severe storms on Saturday. Sunday, as you can see, marginal up north, thunderstorm off towards the south. But you can kind of see that flow of it right there. You can almost kind of follow it right there. That's that flow of that high pressure system pulling it up and over our area. So let's jump right in, take a look at your forecast here. What we're going to be seeing over the course of your Friday, little spotty showers and storms. Like I said, nothing super exciting, but the possibility is there. We'll see it quiet down in the overnight period Saturday afternoon. There we start to see things look a little more promising for more of the region. You start to see those scattered showers and storms a little more robust up towards the north. That's when we saw that slight risk up around Liberal and Guymon. You can see down our direction, some scattered showers. That's about it. We'll see scattered showers overnight into Sunday. Sunday afternoon, we just keep this train rolling as you see those showers and storms working their way into the region. So the next 24 hours, you have this high, the, right now the heat advisories in effect for a lot of the region. As you can see over the state of Texas, a lot of extreme heat advisories in our region. Only extreme heat advisory for Hardeman County, rest of the region under heat advisory. That's for temperatures that could get as high as 110 on the Cap Rock, including Powder Oak Canyon. That will expire at sundown when those temperatures finally start to cool ever so slightly. Tonight, going into your Saturday morning, we're going to drop down to about 70 degrees or so. Not going to be a very cool night. Childress might only barely get down to the 80 degree mark, so not really much of a cool down there. Tomorrow, still pretty hot for a lot of the areas, but we're going to get those temperatures down somewhat. About 104 there in Childress, 96 in Amarillo, maybe some 80s up across the north northwestern parts of the area. So seeing those temperatures start to cool down. And if you like that trend, wait till you see our seven day supercast 96 tomorrow, 94 for your Sunday. But then a cold front comes through. We're going to see cloudy skies and some rain showers on Monday and a high of 79 degrees. That is not a typo. That is actually in there on purpose as we're going to see those highs drop possibly down into the 70s for an August day. That is certainly some very good news, but you will see it is a short lived cool down as we're going to be right back in the mid to upper 90s as we go into the early parts of next week. 